It's your favorite peoples. It's J Lo and Iggy. Lauren's kitchen so you guys I already filmed this entire production yesterday and I tried to edit it last night and there was no audio so I'm here again today doing it over but it's fine this video is gonna be a little bit delayed but we'll get it up so today we're gonna make my homemade blueberry pancakes with oats rolled oats I bought the wrong rolled oats but you're just gonna get regular rolled oats. Do not buy the overnight ones. Not that it really matters, but I just prefer like the regular rolled oats because they just, they make it so much more dense and just so much more filling. So the ingredients that we're gonna be using is regular counter flour, baking powder, as many blueberries as you like, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. We're gonna be using oat milk or almond milk or regular milk or water. You can use water as opposed to milk. I'm gonna use butter in mine. A lot of people put oil, like cooking oil, in their pancakes. I don't have any oil, I'm gonna use butter. I think I've used oil at, at before, but you can use oil if you want. I have my ingredients all prepped at the back. I have two eggs, but you do not have to use eggs in this if you're vegan or sensitive to eggs. I'm a little bit sensitive to eggs. They do hurt my stomach. I don't eat them all the time. But these are, I'm mainly making these. I'm not really gonna eat these, so it's fine. Uh, but if you wanted to substitute something for eggs, I think you can use applesauce or two spotted bananas to substitute for the eggs. And double check that online, check up old Google because I'm not 100% sure. I probably just made that up. I don't even know where I read that. I don't know if that's a good substitute or not. I'm just putting that out there. So don't say Lauren say, cause I don't know shit. I'm gonna put my red apron on and we're gonna get started. I have my pan on the stove. I'm about to turn the heat on. I'm using olive oil, but please use whatever you like. And as usual, like I always say, Feel free to interchange any of the ingredients that I use, add your own flair to it, mix, match, do whatever you want. This is just like an outline and then you can take it and run with it. Literally, run with it. All right, so how I'm gonna do today's shoot is I'm going to mix the dry ingredients in one pan and I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients in another pan. I'm not really sure what that does, but I was watching Food Network and I saw them do that with a cake so I thought, I might as well try to do that and I think it has something to do with the fact that you don't want to over mix the batter because it will make the pancakes too hard so you separate them and then bring them together when the time is necessary so so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add my flour I don't know how much flour like I really use I just kind of go with like a consistency on what feels right um, yeah so the, that's my flour. I don't want it to be too thick. You can always add more, so it's fine. I'm gonna add my sugar. You do not need to add sugar, by the way. That was completely like, oh shit. That was completely just like my thing. Those two plates. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this butter to melt because this is gonna be a part of my um, wet ingredient. So I'm gonna cut this butter and I'm using Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. I've never used this before yesterday and I really, really like this butter, but any butter will work. So like I said, I don't really measure anything, which is probably not a good thing, but I'm gonna cut it and show you what I'm using. So I'm using that much butter. It's probably like a lot. But I figure I'm not using oil, so it's fine. And I'm just gonna cut it and put it in this container here, and then I'm gonna put this in the microwave so it melts, and I can use it. 30 seconds is all you really need, or until it's melted, whatever. I'm gonna add my overnight oats. Again, I don't really take measurements. I just kind of freehand this. Like I said, do not get the overnight ones. You just want to get regular rolled oats. I picked up the wrong one when I went to Target because they were running low on everything. 
due to a pandemic that is now happening. bit of baking powder yeah. now I'm gonna add my wet ingredients I'm gonna start off with my eggs. God damn it. Then I'm gonna add my vanilla. Again, I don't ever measure anything. I just freehand. This is my butter. It's not completely melted, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like stir it around until it kind of like dissolves. Then I'm going to add my butter. You can add some table salt to this for balance, like the salt, just a little bit, like a pinch of salt to balance it out. I have Himalayan salt, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of that in there. These are actually like the rock versions, so they're kind of chunkier and bigger, so you can use your hands to like just rub them together. I don't think that's doing anything, but like I said, it doesn't need a lot, just a few pieces in there, it's fine. Alright, so before I start putting them together, I'm going to turn the stove on, just to get the oil hot. I have a decent amount of oil in here and the thing about when you're making pancakes is like it uses so much oil like I kid you not this is probably like not even enough I'm gonna put some more in here like I know for a fact that that's not enough I'm using like I told you I'm using virgin um, olive oil so there we're gonna put some in there And when it's it, it's thick when it goes in and when it starts to get runny that means the oil is hot so now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients like I said I just have some um, all-purpose flour in here sugar and some oats but feel free to get creative and add whatever you want Consistency is everything with this. You want to make sure that the consistency is not too thick, but not too thick. I think this is perfect. The consistency of this is actually spot on. Don't mix too much because it will make them kind of tough. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to throw blueberries in here. I like a lot of blueberries in my pancakes. I don't like blueberries on a normal day because they are disgusting. 
but they are really good in pancakes. That's the only time you should eat blueberries is in pancakes. Now I think the stove is pretty nice and hot, so we're gonna get ready to add them to the stove. This is where the magic happens, because I'm gonna teach you guys a trick for flipping your pancakes, okay? See, it's nice and warm. Okay, so I'm gonna add the pancakes to the oil. Now, the trick to flipping your pancakes, and I just learned this not too long ago, when you put them in the pan, do not flip them until they start to bubble. When you see the the mixture starts to bubble and pop, then it's time to flip because that means air is getting through it. It's opening up the pockets. So when you flip it, the heat will come through and cook it all the way through, right? That doesn't make any sense, but I promise. Just trust me, okay? I watch a lot of Food Network. I'd be knowing. All right. I don't want to crowd my pan either. So I'm going to do three at a time because I don't want a crowded pan. Now, just so you know, these pancakes are not gonna be perfectly round because, you know, that's not the way the world works. Lord, I just got burned in oil. You see a little crackle and pop? You see how that has it at the corner? You're gonna wait for all over to start crackling and popping and then that's when it's time to flip it. So while the pancakes are on the stove, popping or whatever, um, I just want to also add that you can do this with like regular pancake mix. You do not have to use, like if you already have pancake mix, you can go ahead and add rolled oats to it and add your blueberries and it's probably going to be the same. Or if you don't have regular pancake mix, you don't have access to pancake mix, you can do it from scratch like what I do. Any Anyone works. I. I just always make it this way, so that's why I do it like that. That's all. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. Now, do you see the air bubbles? The air bubbles are up. How do I might come up? The air bubbles are on top, and when they start to pop open, then you flip them. You want to see those air bubbles. Give it time. With pancakes, it's all about timing. Timing is everything. I did not know about the air bubbles before, so I was flipping them way before time. But now I know about the bubbles, my life has changed. It's all about bubbles, you guys. It's like champagne, okay? If there's no bubbles, it's cheap. You wanna see bubbles. All right, I'm gonna flip one of them and show you. With the flip, you're gonna see that the blueberries are gonna hit that hot oil, and that's when your pancakes are gonna go to level 10. Do you see that? I just need to know, can you freaking see that or not? See those little air bubbles? We've got a few oats in here as well. Patience guys, it's all about patience. You want to get a good ladle too so you can flip it. I don't know what the hell this is called. I just call that a ladle. What's going to happen is that the blueberries are going to start bursting through and they're going to come up through this side and they're going to be freaking magnificent. Something happens to blueberries when you fry them, they get sweet. Like they get so sweet. They're so amazing. That could have stayed on the other side a little bit longer. It wasn't popping, it was only bubbling. But I just wanted to show you guys. Also, I kind of made my pancakes a little bit too thick. You can make them a little bit thinner so they cook faster. It just depends on you. Mine are very chunky, I don't know why. I just, I'm all about the thick life, you guys, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, so I will show you guys what they look like when I'm done, okay? This is what they're going to look like, right? Ooh. 
to really finish this, I'm going to add some powdered sugar. You can add a lot or a little, it just depends on what you want, sweetheart. I'm going to put some bananas on here because bananas are my everything. I am a banana addict. I don't know if anybody knew that, but I am. And that's pretty much how I do that. That's how I make my homemade pancakes. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make some eggs because I'm actually going to feed this to my husband. So I'm going to do two eggs with cheese and I put almond milk in my eggs. Yes, I put almond milk in my eggs. It makes a big difference. It makes it more fluffy and it tastes good. So just trust me. Now I'm adding like farm style thick Italian blend mozzarella cheese. Listen, you have not lived, okay? Good. Stove is still hot so I can turn that off. You see how, do you see that cheese? Guys, do you see that? If you're gonna use cheese, you gotta do it right. amazing pancakes ever my husband is over there like overindulging swearing to god he's gonna go into a food coma because he's actually gonna go to work right now but <clears throat> please feel free to add and take away whatever you like i od with powdered sugar but you do not have to don't come to me for the answers my food is not necessarily healthy okay good this was not vegan proof but i told you guys if you do want to make it vegan you can leave out the um, eggs and use bananas or applesauce. I'm not really sure how the applesauce would work, but I know that you can substitute the bananas and they'll be fine. They probably won't be as fluffy, but they'll be all right. So this is the my homemade from scratch pancakes. Babe, how are they? Yeah, they're fucking good. They're amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know, cause I'm amazing. So use the rolled oats. It gives them a little like weight. You, after you eat this, you will not want to eat for the rest of the day. So if you eat this first thing in the morning, like say like 11 o'clock, I think would be a good time. Or like if you break your fast with these at like one o'clock, you'll be full right to seven o'clock. That's how you cut out cravings when you have wholesome meals. So I'll eat this and I won't have any cravings. I won't want any chips. I won't want any chocolate. I won't want anything like that because this is going to fold me up to the point where I'm going to want to like roll over and die. That did not sound appeasing, but yeah. And you just add syrup to this if you want to. Honestly, this is art. I am an artist. The fuck? Guys, this is, this is art! Arts and crafts, hey! So bomb. I will see you next time on Lauren's Kitchen. Um, next time I'll be making my butternut squash stew. That's gonna be so good and so hearty. And that's gonna actually be a little bit healthier. There's not gonna be as much sugar involved. So, stay safe, uh, mind your business, stop judging people, do what you need to do to be clean, not just during a pandemic, but wash your hands all the time. And I will see you guys right here another time on Lauren's Kitchen, okay? I just need a fork. It is good. Shit. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I can't believe I remember that recipe. Okay.